Hello, my name is Steve Disher, and I'd like to welcome you to our Microtik Router OS instructional video. Today we're going to show you how to use a text file to import a configuration into Router OS. Now the reason for using a text file for this process is varied depending upon what your application is. But in this particular scenario, I have a long list of address list entries for IP firewall, about 4,000 of them to be exact and to type these in manually would take a really long time. So what I've done is used a tool that we created to create an address list and now I'll import that address list into router OS. So to begin I'm going to launch Winbox and I'm going to log into the router that I want to do this configuration on. The next step is to click the files button. This will open the file list window. Next, I'm going to grab the file that I created, the text file, which I've named as a .rsc file, and drag it into the files list window. And there it is. It's been uploaded to the router. I'll go ahead and close the files list and click the new terminal button. This will open a new terminal window and allow me to use the CLI commands to import this text file. The command is very simple. It's simply import. And the only modifier we have to add to the command is the name of the actual file that we had drug into the files list. Now, if you have a short memory like me, you may not remember what you named the file, but that's not a problem. Simply hit the tab key, and the router will show you all importable files. In addition, all you have to do is type the first few letters of the file name, hit the tab key again, and the router will auto-complete the file name for you. Next, I hit the Enter key. Now, it may appear like nothing is happening, but in the background, it is importing this text file and executing every single command line command that we have in the text file. Now, with over 4,000 lines, this takes a few moments. Obviously, with shorter configurations, it doesn't take uh, long at all. So once the process is completed, it tells us that the script file has been loaded and executed successfully, and that's what we're looking for here. If there are any syntax problems with your file, it will tell you that as well, as well as the line where the syntax error occurs. So now that we've completed our import, we can close the terminal window. And to check and make sure that all of our entries imported, we click IP and Firewall and Address List. And there we have 4,707 address list entries that we've added by using the import command. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed our Microtik instructional video. I'm Steve Disher, and we hope you'll check back with us again.